Gotham's on tonight. I'm watching Gotham, the show. Okay. So here's the precise definition of a limit. This will ensure continuity all the way through a graph. And here's how it goes. What did I just draw? Somebody tell me. I drew a function. Find on an open interval, but maybe not at A. Nice job. So let there be a function. I would write it again if I were you. It's gonna help you learn. You're gonna help uh, learn it better. Let there be a function. Define on an open interval, but maybe not at point A. Got that first part? Let there be a function defined on an open interval, but maybe not at point A. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. All right. Then we're going to make a statement. Remember what the y value is at A? L. So then the limit as x goes to what? A of is equal to L. If for every, now here's where we take the stuff that we learned from the other day. That tolerance, we went up and down from here, right? That was our epsilon value. So we had limit plus epsilon and limit minus epsilon. So if for every epsilon greater than zero, there is a... Yeah, once we were given the epsilon, we were able to find a delta. There is a delta greater than zero. That satisfies the following statement. Absolute value of f of x minus the limit is less than epsilon whenever absolute value of x minus a is less than delta. Boom. Finish writing it down and let's talk about what those last two little pieces mean there. Oh, delta, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a musical note, huh? Yeah. F of x minus l is f of x a y value or an x value? It's a y value. So if you have a function value f of x, if you take f of x minus l, do you get a positive or a negative? Positive. Is that less than epsilon? Look at your drawing. Yes. Or if you choose f of x right here, f of x minus l, is that positive or negative? Negative, but you take the absolute value, makes it positive. So this is just a way of saying if your y value from the limit, the distance, the absolute value is the distance from the limit, is less than epsilon whenever, and then this would compute for you an x value. If I take x minus a, is that positive or negative? Positive and it's less than delta, x minus a, positive or negative? Negative. And the absolute value of negative is a positive, less than delta. So it's ensuring that the window is secure. 
All right, and that's good news. And then we can prove continuity. So here's what I want you to do. You're going to partner up in groups of two or three. And I'm going to give you exactly one minute. One minute. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to try to uh, look at this drawing, and then you're going to make the drawing somewhere on a scratch sheet of paper. Minus the green. You don't really need the green. But the blue and the red is important. Okay? And then we're going to use your partners in a second. Okay? Ready? You got 30 seconds to look at the drawing. Ready? Go. 30 seconds. Take out your notes. What? Well, that's half the lesson. This is the other part. So let's suppose that this is the question that was posed to us. Let's suppose it said consider the function f of x is 3 sine of 2x. Find an interval for x values such that the y values will always be within point 0.1 of the limit as x goes to pi over 8. Now, there's really three things you should be ready to write down. This is the most important one. Limit as x goes to a of f of x is equal to l. So, um, you know, in your assignment, on your test, on the AP exam, these are the things that need to come to your brain. That one, and then absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon, and the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta. These are the three kind of mathematical pieces that we're trying to understand and interpret. The worksheet that you guys were working on, that's the most important part of actually doing it. That's, that's the work. You guys did a pretty good job with that. You have some time where you can ask some questions they if need be. Let's try to write this out. The limit as x goes to what's a? Pi over 8 of the function. What's the function? 3 sine of 2x is equal to, how do I come up with the limit? You plug it in. Um, sine of 2 times pi over 8, 2 times pi over 8 would be pi over 4. And the sine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2. So we end up with 3 roots of 2 over 2, or 2.22 is what it comes out to be approximately. So for this sake, we're going to uh, roll with the decimal, 2.22. We won't uh, go with the exact value, 3 roots of 2 over 2. Now, absolute value of f of x. What is f of x? 3 sine of 2x minus L. What's L? 2.22 is less than epsilon. What's epsilon in this problem? 0.1. Thank you. Whenever x minus what's a? Pi over 8 is less than, and we don't know delta. That's the whole idea. We're trying to figure out a suitable delta now for this case scenario. So let's generate a graph, and that'll take us to about lunch, and then when we come back, we'll finish off the problem. I need to generate a graph of 3 sine of 2x. The signs start at the top, bottom, or middle. It's going to start at the middle. The period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. What's your b value? 2. So the period is pi. We'll mark off pi. I'll divide it into how many spots? 4. And then I'm just going to put pi over 8 because that's what we're approaching. What's the amplitude? Three. It was on fire. Nice job. I start at zero, as you said, and at pi over four, I reach my maximum. Got that, Karina? Okay, and then, all right, break for lunch. We'll come back. We'll finish this off, and then you'll have the rest of the time to work. I'm also going to put uh, another point on there. It looks like the limit as x goes to pi over 8 is equal to 2.22. So I'm going to put that point right there. Is that okay? This one.
okay with my drawing? Okay, well, you never say anything good about my drawings. It makes me feel bad. Okay, now I'm going to go up what? Point one. Point one is my epsilon. The two point three two. And I'm going to go down point one two. Two point one two. <clears throat> so how do I find the x values that correspond? No, don't plug them in. Set the function equal to 2.32 and 2.12. Function is 3 sine of 2x is equal to 2.32. We solved that. Take my calculator. Not calcu now, calculator. <laughs> Trying to keep it fresh, folks. Trying to. Monday. All right, so we take 2.32, divide by 3. After I divide by the 3, do I have to get rid of the sine or the 2? How do you get rid of the sine? Sine inverse, my answer. Then what do I do? And I divide by 2. I did. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it does my calculator doesn't press right. I don't know what the deal is. Divide by three. Um second sine inverse of my answer. And I get point eight eight. Now I divide by two. And I get point four four. How's that? Is that better? Okay, uh, to give you an idea, if you take pi and divide it by 8, I uh, get 0.39. So that's 0.39. And then we got to do this one. So I take um, 3 sine of 2x is equal to 2.12. 2.12 divided by 3. Second, sine inverse my answer divided by 2.39. What? Let's try my pi divided by 8 again and see if that works. Clear? Pi divided by 8. I just did this problem, folks. Like, what's going on? Okay, maybe this 2.2 wasn't right. Hold on, let me just check something. Times pi divided by 8. Ah! <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this, no, 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 no. We won't redo the whole thing. We won't redo the whole thing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> So that wasn't 2.22. It, was, it should have been 2.12. So this should have been 2.22. And then this should have been uh, 2.02. You know, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, no, 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 you don't have to redo it. So let's say that your answers were 0.44 and that pi over 8 was 0.42 and you got 0.39. What would your delta value be? What would delta be? 0 0.02. Yep. Sorry. OK. 
Okay, sorry about that. So, but that's what we do, okay? And we solve in that fashion. You can see where your f of x, your l, and your epsilon. Shoot, I should have remembered 2.12. Uh, no, but Miss Nelson does, and I will get some for you, okay? So, um, here's what we have for you. 